Hey guys, Uncle Ken here with Between Two Wheels Podcast. Today, on our new Bagger Bolt-On Series, we're going to install the Ciro 3D Shock and Awe 2.0 LED Light Kit. Alright guys, so what we have here today is we have the Ciro 3D Shock and Awe 2.0 LED light kit with Bluetooth controller. As you can see, we have all our LED pods, some Y splitters, extensions, zip tie mounts, wire mounts, and control harness. Some other things that we have, you're going to need some alcohol to prep your spots that you're going to mount the lights to, some small zip ties. And then lastly, we have these two bits here. These are to incorporate your light kit into your brake lights so that when you hit your brakes, the LED kit will go solid red so that everyone can see you stopping. Now, the kit comes with this wiretap mount. I'm not super familiar with this type of mount, but it will work. I'm more familiar with these wiretaps. Hey guys. Before we get started, let's go over some of the things that I've already had bolted onto my bagger. I have the Memphis Shades 10 and a half inch dark smoke windscreen, Ciro 3D highway pegs and mini rail floorboards, air hawk seat cushion. I have the rock form phone mount. And this is actually the phone perch. It bolts directly onto your bike. They do have bar mounted clamps. I have the Custom Dynamics LED inserts. Not that you can really see it, but I have the Screaming Eagle Stage 3 kit. Taking this from a 114 to the 117. So the Screaming Eagle Stage 3 kit comes with the high flow air filter, cams, exhaust, and big bore kit. I also have the Kuriakin Tor Pack trunk lid grip. I have the Scully's SIR kit, the SIR kit, saddlebag insert reflectors. The Legends rear suspension with remote reservoirs. I have the Harley Davidson tall boy seat with rider backrest. Again, not a part that you can see, but I also have the Legends front spring kit. All right, so first up, is the planning phase. With the Ciro 3D Shock and Awe 2.0 kit, you have three options or three channels of light control. So, if you wanted to run three different color options on your bike at one single time, you can. So if your state says that you can run amber up front and red and back, you can do that with this kit. Or if you wanted to run red, white, and blue, you have that option with this kit. Once you've decided how many channels you're going to run, myself, I'm running one channel just for simplicity's sake. Then you need to move into where you're going to mount your light pods. So with my install, I'm running eight of the nine light pods. Now, once you've decided where you're mounting them, you need to figure out how you're going to route the wires. Everything that you route Every place that you mount your pods has to come back to under the seat where the battery is. So once you've decided how many channels you're going to use, where you're going to mount the light pods, and you figured out how to route the wires, then you can get started with your install. Alright folks, so now that you have your planning taken care of, you need to move into the preparation phase. You need to start by taking the seat off your motorcycle, you'll need to remove your ECM with these two clips here. We've already started some prep, as you can see. Find something to protect your paint to move that out of the way. You'll need a, a half inch socket to remove your battery cover. That will come out of the way. You 
loosen any connectors that you may need to. And then you need to disconnect your battery. Each one of these is a 10 millimeter bolt. So the first thing you need to do, once you've got everything disconnected in here, you need to run your switch wherever you want to run it. I'm going to run mine to end up underneath my air deflector here. So move what you need to move. I specifically had to move my gas tank vent mount or vent tube. Because I plan on mounting this under here, hidden out of the way. Put my vent tube back in place. Now you need to connect your wires to your battery. I recommend taking your fuse out while you're doing this. So, positive to positive, negative to negative. So now you have your controller connected, positive, positive, negative, negative. Now you can start putting everything back together. So once you have everything put back together, one thing you should probably do before you button everything up is test everything. Run all your wires together. You can just daisy chain them one right after the next and connect to your battery and test it. We did that before, so we know that everything works. Also, don't forget to install your fuse back in line otherwise none of this will work and you'll be baffled so on the rear half of the bike i'm mounting two lights under each saddlebag both of those are going to be exposed to the elements now you don't have to do this this is just added security for my personal peace of mind you can go to any hardware store and buy you some heat shrink tubing it's cheap and adds a great level of added weather protection so slide it on, make sure your connections are solid, slide it back over. You will need a heat gun or you can do it like a caveman and use a lighter. Now once you have that on there, Yes, it's open on each end. You're not worried about that. You're worried about the actual connection so that it doesn't get wet. So now that the heat shrink is installed and my lights are still working, we can continue on with our mounting. Take a clean rag and some isopropyl alcohol and wipe down thoroughly your mounting spots and allow to dry. You can also use any ammonia based cleaner. Gonna mount mine about right there. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Press and hold for sixty seconds. So for the end here, to keep it from dangling on my exhaust, just take a zip tie and run it up 
and secure it. Make sure before you start applying and removing your pods, just run your finger, the fingernail, over the adhesive tape a few times and that activates the adhesive. And the direction that you mount is all personal practice. Okay, so we have the back buttoned up and zip tied out of the way. So now we're moving on to the front. Again, it's all routing your wires to the best possible location so you don't have them stretched near any moving parts or near any heat sources. You want them as far away from those as possible, though these will stand a fair amount of heat. We're gonna use three of these clips to hold the wires out of the way once we mount them to the air deflector here. This mounting clip will be mounted on the inside up front and then we will use two more on each side of this light pod to hold everything out of the way since we don't have any places to zip tie the light pods to. Also if you'll notice I'm not heat shrinking these front connections here. The reason is there is not a lot of road grime or moisture that gets kicked up into this area of the bike. So this is your hardwired control. This smaller button right here is simply your on and off button. And this knob and button controls your color, intensity, and mode. So right now, it's controlling how bright the LEDs are. You can switch it. And it changes colors and your modes Is that blue that's blue it's 
So for me, I'm gonna mount this right high up under my deflector. Press and hold. All right, lastly, after we did the left side, now you need to integrate your brake light. And what you need to do is in your wiring harness, you need to find your rear lighting plug. Disconnect it, and as you can see, we've already connected the wire tap. The one you're looking for on the 2020s is a blue and blue wire with a purple stripe. That is your rear brake light. Simply attach your wire tap and your integrated brake wire. Plug it back in. Ignition on. And there you have it. All right, folks. So we got everything installed. Make sure none of the wires were touching anything moving, not touching anything that's hot. And now let's do the app. The app runs on Android and iOS. Go to either one of your Play Stores or wherever you download it from and download the Ciro 3D Shock and Awe app. Once you download it, open the app and this is what you're gonna see. Down here in the bottom left hand corner is your menu. Select your menu. And the first thing you see that pops up, Ciro LED. Make sure that's selected. What channel you selected or how many channels you installed. I only installed one channel, so I select channel one and I'm ready to go. And from the app, I can power it up. I can change the colors. Flash, whatever your heart desires. There you have it. On Uncle Ken's 2020 Road Glide Limited, the Ciro 3D Shock and All 2.0 kit. Now, we love Ciro 3D lights, period. We've had them on Justin's bike. We've had them now on the other two Road Glides for the Between Two Wheels crew. If you would like to get your set of these and help support Project Clean Slate, go to betweentwowheels.com, the two is spelled out T-W-O, and then click on the Ciro 3D link. That's all you have to do. I'm Johnny Roblox. On behalf of the Between Two Wheels crew, be yourself, unless you're a jerk. Then be someone better. Peace.